Shutterstock Music. Hello friends and welcome back to the channel. Today, I will <laughs> be doing a first impressions and a demo of the newest Glossier launch that just launched today, which is their new Skywash eyeshadows. Look at the lighter. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm so excited. Glossy were so kind to reach out to me and they sent me these in the end of last week and when I got the package I was like, oh my god, what the hell is this? So I got all their seven shades and as you could see in the intro, I created three different looks uh, that I will be showing you today how I did and then in the end I will also tell you what I thought about them. So Glossier describes this product as a long wearing lid tint with a matte sort of diffused uh, finish. They come in seven shades. They are uh, essentially inspired by the dreamy landscape of the Southwest. That comes exactly from the product description that they sent me. But yeah, as you can see, they're quite like neutral uh, colors. So these retail for $18 per sky wash. And then there's a duo price that I believe is $30. But anyways, I'll add in all the prices right here so that you know. Let's get into the swatches. If you don't want to see the swatches, I'll put the time in right here of where the actual uh, tutorial starts, where I try these on for the first time and um, tell you what I think. Okay, let's do some swatches. So this is pebble so as you can see it's a very very discreet um, kind of grayish well kind of like a pebble stone color then we have pool which is their blue color this is so pretty so this is pool let me get into that so you can see that a very dreamy sky blue then we have lawn which is their green. It's almost like a very uh, vibrant P. <laughs> That's what that looks like. Then we have Palm, which is this kind of um, warm, light brown. I don't know. Is it a brown? Yeah. But like, yeah, kind of like a brown. So that's what that looks like. Then we have Valley which is very close to palm, but it's a bit more red and vibrant and maybe just a tad bit darker too. Oh my God, I can't, I'm so bad at swatching. I need to get better at this. So that's that one. Then we have one of my favorites, Valley, which is kind of like, this one is kind of, kind of like Valley, but darker. Once again, we're getting into like a dark reddish brown. There you go. So that's Terra, love that color. And then last but not least is a dark brown called Echo. It's kind of like this very cool dark brown, I would say, which I really, really, really like. And there you go. So that's all the shades right next to each other for you to see before we get into them. I just wanted to quickly say that I tried to do something different today. I tried to do something that wasn't very easy. So the first two looks that I did are kind of graphic and kind of like not really what I think that maybe you're supposed to do with these products. But the last look, this one, is a bit more of a wearable everyday look. I just wanted to say that before I jump in because I know that I'm using them maybe in a little bit of an unorthodox way. But hell. <laughs> Isn't that just me? <laughs> Let's get into the first look. So the first look that I wanted to try to do is this kind of green graphic liner look. I'll insert the photo that I found on Instagram the other day that is my inspiration right here. Um, so I am going to try to do that. I will try with the green color on one eye and then I'll try with the blue on the other. So let's just see how this goes. So, okay, let's start with the inner corner just to see how it acts. This should not have to be too complicated, I think. I'll try to, oh, okay. All right. I quite like the look of that. And I will probably I mean, I like this look, but I will probably try 
to do another layer of this once it dries down. All right, let's try to do the liner part. Okay, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. All right. That's going okay so far. Let's try to do the wing. I mean, it looks okay. It's just that the color isn't very intense. So it's not really giving me the look that I'm going for. Oh shit, that was a mistake, sorry. Give me a second. But I think I'll try and let this kind of dry down and see how the product acts um, if we do another layer of it. And meanwhile, let's try the blue on the other eye. Oh, I, okay, instantly I feel like that blue color is a lot more opaque than the green. Yes. I hope that this is showing up on camera because it, this one is actually looking very pretty in real life. It's just that since I do have quite a small lid, uh, the color is transferring a lot to my lashes. I don't know if you can see, um, but I can remove that with um, just a Q-tip. Yeah, Q-tip. All right, let's do the inner corner. I love this blue color. Honestly, wow, I love it. Let's do another layer of both of them and see how they act when layered. I think that they can be layered if you like you apply them and then you blend them out with your finger and then you layer them again and blend them out and kind of work a little bit of warmth into them. But I think they're more difficult to layer like this when you want that really like intense graphic look, but that's not gonna stop us from trying. So let's try especially with this green one, because I feel like that naturally in itself isn't as intense. So let's see how this goes. Okay. I can definitely see it like crumbling up a bit, um, which isn't weird because I've layered a shit ton of product, but I think it works. I'm gonna do a little bit more on my inner corner. Okay, let's do another layer of the blue. This is obviously not the easiest product to try to do a liner with because that's not what it's made to do. So I won't critique Glossier on that. This is my own fault for trying, but I honestly think that it's achievable. It just takes a bit of patience, you know, All right? A bit more on the inner corner. I'm gonna let that dry down and then I'm gonna just do the black liner and some mascara and I'll be back with the final look. All right, this is the finished first look. What do you think? Do you like it? I really like this. No, but I really like it. It's, I would say um, that with the green, it was very difficult because for some reason I found that one to be drier than the blue and I found the blue to be more opaque. So I think it was a lot easier with the blue than with the green. Probably the green color is a lot better once just, you know, applied to the lid with the warmth of your fingers and just, you know, blend it into like one of the browns. But I mean, I think this is a dope ass look to be honest. Is it a beginner's look? I wouldn't say. It's probably a look for somebody, ooh, I'm not getting naked in this video. It's, it's probably a look for somebody who is very used to doing eyeliner looks. Anyways, I really like it, especially with like the sleek hair and like wild brow. 10 out of 10 will recommend. All right, so <clears throat> the next three shades that I wanna combine are the, 
these three and they are pool um, pebble and echo so just gonna start layering this on and I'm bringing it up a bit over my lid because I want it to show up um, when it looks straightforward like this so I'm gonna drag a line upwards kind of like that I think that this is enough of the blue shade all right so let's do pebble in the middle and see how, how it works as I suspected it wouldn't show up so much um, it isn't but that's okay to be honest um, I didn't want this middle shade to pop out that much I wanted a noticeable shade in the inner corner and the outer V and then I wanted the middle to be a bit more subtle so I'm alright with that all right, so I'm going to just take my ring finger and try to blend in between those two shades. All right, I think that works for now. Just making sure we have a clean line on the top. There we go. All right, let's do the last dark shade in Echo, this one. All right, here we go. Before that dries down completely, let me try to blend in Pebble and Echo. I mean, it looks cool like this, to be honest, but I want to blend it in. Ooh, I think that this looks so good. They're very easy to blend in to one another. I think this is quite a cool look. I'm going to do a second layer of all of them because I want them to stand out just a tad bit more. Yes! I like the look of this. I really like this combination of these three colors. Wow! So really, oh, I did, now I extended it too far. Did I? Maybe I didn't. So I'm not taking it further than that. As you can see, there's a little bit of a crease in between that second layer of pebble and echo. And then just going in with my ring finger and trying to blend in between the two. Yep. This is it. So I'm just gonna go in and clean this line up just a tad bit to get it really, really crisp with some concealer. And I'll do the other eye and I'll do some mascara and I will be back. Hello, hello, hello. <laughs> I'm feeling myself, can't you tell? <laughs> okay, this is the finished second look. So. What I learned this time around is that you don't need two layers of them and they will crumble and become a bit dry. So this side that I did first, you can see the blue one kind of crumbling. Um, the other ones, not so much. Um, maybe a little bit on the middle one, Pebble, as well. But I, I mean, Pebble, I'm fine with, but I think that the blue one definitely crumbles a lot if you try um, to layer it uh, and try to make it really opaque. It makes sense because it's not supposed to be that opaque, uh, but I just wanted to try to see if it works. Whereas this eye, there's not nearly as much um, crumbling and dryness when I only do one layer. And I feel like if you look at both eyes, there's not a lot of difference in opaqueness. So definitely when it comes to the blue one, stick to one layer, I would say. I really, really, really like this dark brown color. It was so easy to work with 
It didn't crumble at all. Um, and it was so blendable with pebble. So I feel like this, mm, I love this look. Thumbs up for this look. Okay, let's do the last look and we'll do it with the three remaining colors, which are Terra, Palm, and Valley. Um, so I'm gonna try and use these in the way that I imagine most people will use these and that is just to create a sort of diffuse, more everyday type of look. Let's start with Palm because that is the lightest one and then I'll do the deeper one and then I'll do the deepest last. So Palm, I suspect, won't show up too much. It's kind of like this very orangey brown or light uh, orangey beige or whatever you would call it. Um, so I'm just going to take that on my lid and then on my lower lash line and I'm going to blend it out with my finger as I have been with all, ooh, with all the eyeshadows. Okay, so it's definitely showing up a little bit, but I assume that like on a lighter skin tone, this would be more visible. So let's go on to Valley, which is a tad bit uh, more warm, just a bit more, a little, little bit darker. Try this one, oh, okay. So that one definitely is more orange, um, more visible on my skin tone. So the question is if I actually really need palm. Um, let me try to blend this out. Yeah, I think that these look great together. I mean, I, 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 I don't know if I needed palm, but I think that they look good together. Um, eyeshadow, no eyeshadow. All right, let's go in with Terra, which is this reddish brick color and then just try to deepen that out of it. I wouldn't take too much of this. Okay, let's see how this one blends out. Yeah, okay, I like this. I was actually considering adding in a bit of Echo, that dark brown color. But now that I see it like this, um, I think that I'm happy. With my sort of hazel eyes, this is a very nice look. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna be happy with this. I think that this looks great. I'm gonna go do the other eye, put some mascara on, and be back with uh, the final look of this third and last look that I'm doing today. Okay, back with the third look. What do you think? Um, as you can see, a lot more wearable. Um, I definitely like these three shades together. As I mentioned, or I don't know if I mentioned, but I think that maybe I would have needed the um, lightest one, Palm. Uh, I think it would have been enough with uh, Valley and Terra, but I like it. It definitely makes my hazel eyes pop. And I mean, layering them one, two, three on top of each other is definitely not an issue. Um, here's a close-up. What are my final thoughts? Well, first of all, actually, my, my favorite colors were Echo, Terra, and Pool. Wow. These ones, amazed. Really, really like them. Um, then, let's start with the cons. The first one is actually just, it can be a, an issue and it doesn't have to be. It's just the matteness of the product, so it sets down to a matte finish and I think it's fine uh, but I think that maybe for people who have drier eyelids it won't work for you and I think that it doesn't matter that this is this product um, that it's a liquid that dries down to a matte you probably also have the same issue with a lot of powder um, eyeshadows but um, if you are dry or have like eczema on your lids then I would say maybe stay away from this one especially some of the shades I find that they become a little bit more patchy when you start layering them I think lawn and pool are two of those ones and I don't know if it's because they're very colorful uh, but I found that like layering them didn't work but then I tried to just apply a very like thin layer um, of them on my hand and that definitely works. It does not become patchy at all. But I found that when I tried to, you know, both in my first look and in my second look, when I tried to layer on that blue and that green, 
they just became patchy and started crumbling and it's partly definitely because i tried to use them in the way that they're not supposed to be used they're not supposed to be applied on that thick so i would say just try to try to use them um in this way where you don't apply a thick layer just a thin one instead i think they're beautiful like that so i don't think that you need to apply them really thicker than that at all the second one is i don't know how some of the shades will work on darker skin tones i'm um quite light light to medium right now they work great on me um almost all of them show up i would say maybe except for like pebble and um a palm these two i would probably not purchase myself because they didn't show up that much on me even though i really like this one in my second look i don't think that i would buy it but I just, yeah, I don't know how how the, especially like the green and the blue will show up on darker skin tone. I don't know if they will show up. Maybe they will. I just wanted to throw it out there. But let's see what other people say um, that actually have a darker skin tone than me. The positive is, um, I think that they, I mean, I, to me, they're unique because I haven't tried any other product like them. I really like all the colors, even though they're kind of all in like a landscape neutral vibe um i think there's endless uh beautiful combinations that you can do like for example i think that this lawn would be great with terra i think that um especially if you're lighter than me i think the pool and pebble will work great together in a look i mean you saw it in my second look they look great next to each other i think that there's you know with echo uh you could probably create kind of a nice liner look um so yeah i mean i think there's there's quite a lot that you can do with them they're very versatile and i think that most shades are easy to work with especially terra that i worked with um i found it quite easy to build that one up on the two lighter ones i found them very easy to apply with my fingers and i also really like the doe foot applicator i thought that it was going to be very difficult to apply with with the doe foot applicator but hey i managed to do a liner so i think we're good <laughs> Okay guys, those are my thoughts. I hope you enjoy this. Um, if you try these products out, please let me know what you think. And I uh, hope I'll see you next time as well. Bye.